they'll be calling you a radical. So, got my car fixed today. I was talking to the mechanic. You know, it cost me a lot of money, but you know, Car America I mean, fucking, you believe what we turned in automobile wise? He was telling me it cost me, you know, $1,200 that I didn't have. But, you know, that top compression, he says that motor's good. So I just drove it home. I got paying tomorrow, but he uh, runs great. Really runs great. 150000 on that old thing. I told him, it's like, gee. So we were talking, and he, uh, he was saying, you know, look, we show brand new cars. He says, all these cars I have here, almost all of them are less than five years old. He says, you know how many motors I've had put in these things and these price count? He says, I says, yeah. And they cost forty, fifty, sixty thousand. I mean, they have fucked people so fucking hard, the auto industry in this country. The big oil. Fucking, you know, like me, I live out here, there is no bus where I live out here. I mean, they almost force us to the urban setting. So you can walk, whatever. I mean, I tell my grandkids, get the fuck out of this country. You know, it's like my buddy who moved to Columbia. He says, yeah, people think they're just going to move there, but they don't realize you can't stay the whole time. And you can't. No one in the world wants us. Fuck. So anyway, we're talking, me and Lewis, back and forth about all the invasive species that have moved into areas they shouldn't be, the green crab. The green crab are radically invasive. Why? It's like the blob. When, I mean, what's the very lowest form in the ocean? Uh, what's the very lowest species on Earth? Pond scum. Scum. Black mold. You know, which is just another term for the nuclear industry, and they're bootlickers. Same thing with them. So, like the tide pools. When I'm in the tide pools, you can see it. You can see it. I mean, it's disgusting. You can smell it, and it's just black. It's gross as hell because the healthy species have moved out. And this is going on all over the Pacific Ocean, in our rivers, post-Fukushima, in an acute radical fashion. And I don't think people are paying attention. They're like, oh, this been, it hasn't been going on for decades. It has not been going on for decades. The ocean was incredibly healthy on March 10th, 2011. This acute radical collapse is unbelievably acute, acute like my cancer was. So the healthy species, when they leave, the invasive species move in. That's what's happening all over. It's happening all over the tide pools in the ocean. Everybody says, oh, it's just hot water gate. Hot water. As the temperature of the ocean, radically, radically. No, you're on it. But you're not talking about causation. Now, we know that so-called global warming has been going on for decades, ever since automobiles, Operation Paperclip, and they tore out all the streetcars. Do you know cars are up 8,000% in the United States when the pop since 1980, when the population hasn't even doubled? 8,000%. You don't think there's a fucking byproduct for that? I mean, they tore out all the streetcars. They fucking lobbied these bootlegging politicians. So, oh, fuck. They're sore cars. Fuck. My buddy in PB's got one. He's got one. A homemade one. It's fucking cool as hell. It's got solar panels on it. He's got it rigged up. He drives it all over. Never spends one night. Doesn't ever plug it in. Doesn't everything. It runs right off solar panels. You know, but... The addiction to cars in America is sick. Now, I got to have one. I ride it. I used to walk. You know, it's what I do. There's no bus lanes. There's no bike lanes. There's no, there's no public transportation whatsoever. There's no sidewalks. By the way, out of my taxes, I was running one of my county commission. I jumped his ass about this. I said, says, says, writing my property tax notice that I've been paying, I've lived right here in this place, in this house for going on 40 years. And it says right in, I had to deed you X amount of land and I pay for public transportation out of that. I need to file a lawsuit against 40 fucking years I've been paying for it and I got nothing. 
Welcome to America. Taxation without representation. Let's go give Lord Mus, Lord Basil, Lord Gates some more fucking money. You know, fucking our parents, our grandparents I would never put up fucking with this. This is important. This acute collapse. That's what the salmon looked like. That was caught at Gold Beach. Right there on the Rogue. 2008. Tim sent me another picture of this. Could be the world's record steelhead that he caught in 2010. I can't overstate how healthy the ocean was. Until March 2011. Now, it, so it didn't. It didn't do this. People somehow say, oh, it's been collapsing. No, it hasn't. Humpbacks were taken off the endangered list in 2010. The ocean was thriving. I mean, thriving. The tide pools were just fucking loaded. Those photos that uh, Dunford puts up on the gold, uh, on the Sunshine Coast up there, look at it. Those are 2010. Fuck, there's video all over content, all over them fucking match it up with my deal. The before and after, those are my pictures from Egghead on the fucking Upper California Here's Rachel, the sushi, oh God. I'm like, Rachel, you're in denial. You know, she was in Fukushima, you know, and she has a seafood restaurant now, you know, the sushi restaurant. I'm like, well, we can't get them in Santa Barbara. I mean, you shouldn't be feeding that to anybody anyway. Don't you get this, this crash because of Fukushima? And I can prove this. I don't do opinion. I'm a biologist. You know, it's like we're talking on the car. That old fucking car is fucking 247, old ocean, that fucker. But he says, no, that fucking motor's fucking good. It's just on the top end. Had to be rebuilt exactly like me. My top end, my art of bow completely reconstructed. My pacemaker, you know, fucking runs great. You know, probably get another year or two out of it, I think, and I'm hoping. I think so. I mean, fucking what they've done with money and ran Greenspan. Fuck it. I mean, I don't know how people fucking do it. Two cars in the yard. Life is now so hard, everything is uneasy because of you and Rand Greenspan and Plate Gate your way out. Going on for 20 years. Cut the rocking rate, cut the rate, cut the rate, cut the rate, cut the rate. But this catastrophe in these emissions, I'm the first guy that started reporting you could physically see the blob. I'm the very first one. I'm the guy that named it the blob. John Kirk up there, fucking Vancouver, fucking on the. Canadian United States border. He and I were the first one serves and you can physically see it. You can actually see it. That's the invasive species moving in. The green crabs fucking moving in. All kinds of invasive fucking species are where they shouldn't fucking be. Everything's dying quickly in a radical acute and it blows my mind. This is the greatest ecological catastrophe in fucking human history. In acute, acute, radical fashion. Well documented. Remember her? She used to do such great work. You know, any news? Ever heard great work? Fuck well documented. There's plenty of people well documented. But we got bowled over. So the nuclear industry now has the bill that got through this summer, but people aren't even paying attention. Is it's called the Advanced Nuclear Energy Bill. Bill Gates' foundation wrote the fucking bill. The bootlickers all voted for 88, 10. Senators abstained, didn't vote. Bernie Sanders and Ed in Massachusetts voted against the only two, these bootlickers. And what the bill is, I've read the whole bill. The bill says we got incredible amounts of propaganda pork. Now, what, why? So what it does, all these articles you're seeing, every single newspaper, everywhere, they're going to reopen Three Mile Island. No, they're not. They're going to reopen Palisades. No, they're not. Amazon, fucking Google, they, because Amazon, Google, and these fucking same big tech, fucking, these are people. They own all the nuclear industries. They, they're they the ones that are going to get this bill that Gates' is foundation. This pork bill is just, I mean, billions. And then they advance Price Anderson for 20 more years. What's Price Anderson? You go out on the street and ask a thousand people. I'll, get, I'll bet you you can't get fucking two people to tell you what Price Anderson is. Yet it got through this summer. Price Anderson is called the Immunity Act. Passed in 1957, I believe. It's called to advance nuclear energy. To advance everything and anything nuclear. It, it, it kills me how there's people asking Lord Musk about, well, who's really the pseudo de facto? Do you realize how much pork a day Musk? Musk never invented anything. He never invented Tesla. He gets this. 
He's like Gates. He's like Jeff Bezos. They know. They're milking the beast to fucking, well, that's their agenda. Destroy this country. Suck up all the money. Coming right from you, the taxpayer. Under the fucking price ends, they don't have to pay it back. You, it falls on the back. They know this. So, New Scale fucking pulled it off. Fuck what fraud. Unbelievably fraud. By the way, this mega welfare dairy queen behind my house, it was exactly a year day. Today, he was uh, tried, charged with assault video for his migrant workers that he's been human trafficking by the hundreds of them for decades. He finally got his cows repossessed. He was charged with assault. I found out yesterday that that was dropped, but somebody sent me his corn maze down there. Some kid got something down in his lung, almost died. I mean, the crime family just keeps going on and on, and they'll probably give him some more money. Here's the most complex activist in the state of Utah history. What do I get? <laughs> you know, but just keep doing our work. It's amazing what's rose up. The scum. Integrity out the fucking window. Fucking, no one cares about the ecology, which it blows my mind. Here you have orcas in San Francisco Bay. In the summertime, fucking packs of them in Monterey Bay. It's not a cliche. Fucking all up and down. Where's my calendar? Yeah, Diablo. Hunting full-grown humpback whales and gray whales. Humpback and whales and gray whales should never be in Monterey Bay and or San Francisco Bay. Anyway, they live here in Alaska in the summer. By the time they're there is when they're passing through. I mean, when they're, ooh, what's that smell? It's a dead well, Carmel. When a baby orca washes up in the summertime at fucking Carmel. What? What? Fucking unbelievable. This is so radical. It's such a crazy fucking event that's happening to the Pacific Ocean. They're completely out of their domains. Everything's washing up dead. They're coming out now. The 75 dollars agree with Kevin Blanche. Yeah. It's a starvation event that started 2011, 2011. In science, we call that an outlier. This is the greatest outlier in human history. This didn't happen like this. This happened like this. The salmon numbers are such a fucking catastrophe. They're unbelievably fucking low. I mean, that radical collapse, Chinook collapsed in 2016. I've said a million fucking times because they go to see five years. Broken record on about, well, it's the biggest event in fucking human history. I mean, it's unbelievable. The cancer epidemic that's ravishing across this country, younger, stronger, more aggressive. But can't happen to me. Fucking, you're all into your perennial grass, your Federal Reserve fucking notes. You know, that's going to save you. They're not worth much anymore. Like I mean, the mechanic was just talking, I says, yeah, what's a thousand dollars anymore? Well, to a guy like me, it's a lot of fucking money. You know, I used to be rich, but we talked about cancer or whatever. And he says, yeah, I mean, go try to buy a fucking used car now. Fuck, used to be able to go just buy another good fuck used car for a fucking few thousand dollars. Not anymore. I mean, what's a new car cost now? A good one. 50, 60, 70, 80,000 dollars. He was telling me that he, guy brought him in a Ford, uh, brand new. And he says, had less than 5,000 on it. He brought it in yesterday and the motor was fucking blown. Less than 5,000. I says, how much he paid for it? 80,000. He says, more than that. I says, nine. Yeah. Close to $100,000. Are you fucking kidding? I mean, what the fuck? And people just keep doing it. That's what blows my mind. People just keep buying them. Why? I mean, I guess they have no alternative. You know, I get it. Especially you got a young family. You got to move them around, whatever. But car America. Fuck, when I was a kid, half the population didn't even more than half. Didn't even fucking drive. But it was a different world then. So, the... You know, Lewis was asking me about the fucking green crab. There's videos all over showing the green crab everywhere fuck coming in. They're invasive. There's invasive species moving in every fucking where. I mean, fuck, you should see the scum in the tide pools. So I'll get back on the tide pools. Looks like I'm going to be in New York next fucking month if everything works out right. And do some work there. So, we should go to fucking D.C. for the election. We'll see. I mean, I just don't have enough money. You know, fuck, you've seen plane flights. Now, if you go that way to California, they're still pretty dirt cheap. You got that new fucking Spirit Airline that flies dirt fucking cheap, and you just can't take any mortgage on with you. I got it down, but flying to the fuck, I can't believe what fucking plane flights are right now. What isn't fucking outrageous? And you know, inflate gate, but that's all anybody seems to give a fuck about. 
you know, they're worthless fucking dollars, and they're worthless. I mean, really. So, the Pacific Ocean dies. Stock market aches all-time highs. Yay. My advice to you, if you're young, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I tell my grandkids that they're really superior, great soccer players. I says, that soccer will take you a long ways. Go to Europe. I mean, who would ever believe it? Go to Europe. I mean, they actually have quality fucking life there. You know, they're not working 60 hours a fucking week, fucking being buried, fucking. The United States, I mean, the quality of life is horrific here anymore. Money's worthless. Paying People paying $3,000 a month for one bedroom. I don't know how fucking the young people fucking do it. I really don't. And then you think, oh, I got all this equity in my house. It's all jacked up. All that's doing is you're paying property tax on it. The property tax insurance just goes higher and higher and higher and higher. You know, I talked to Social Security today because I'm getting ready to turn 65. You know, so it won't be a few months and I'll go on Medicaid, you know, like everybody does. And I says, I don't know how fucking people survive. You know, what? I mean, mission accomplished. So Basil's and Gates is paying zero tax. Fucking give them more. Give them more. Fucking little nuclear. I mean, so the invasive ceases and move in. This radical acute collapse that's happened to our fucking ocean and no one seems to give a fuck. I'm not going to quit on you because without me, there's nobody on this. The most important biologist in the world. And think about it. <laughs> Impoverished. You and these bootlicking fucking, you know, science professors, all the NOAA, EPA. Look at the money they're pulling down. And thank you everybody supporting the story for it. And if you don't have money, you don't need to be supporting my work. I get that. You don't have any. You don't have any. I get that. You know, but the people that do have a lot of money, you know, you can help me out. And I thank you to everybody who has. And any of you that are out there, if there's anything I can do for you, that's been my rule. My rule since I got cancer. It's a foot washer. Somebody says, you need to make a video of this. Will you do this? Can you come here? Will you do this? I never, ever say no. Never. So I will do anything for any of you, anytime you ask, anytime. If you need me to make a video about something, you need me to fucking come be your fucking therapist. If you need me to whatever, you need to call you on the phone, fucking talk you down, fucking house. And, you know, we have to hang in there. You know, we have to, because without our small teeny group of fucking army, what's left? I mean, we are literally the fucking last stand. We're fucking really last of the Mohicans, you know, so we just fucking hang in there. So things will work out as far as our own personal little lives go. The ecology and the earth, well, you know what I say, Mother Nature is going to fight back in a vicious, radical way. TikTok, the Avro Canyon clock, she already has. You know, and poor animals in the Pacific Ocean. It's fucking so heartbreaking. Tell them down there watching these animals all fucking starve to death. The thing that's really heartbreaking, these fucking humans have get, got control of us in the United States of user, these pieces of fucking shit. They don't give a fuck. Sick. It'll never be enough for them. Sickos. So hang in there. The invasive species have taken over. They've taken over our country. Fucking... Trump. What a fucking piece of shit. Harris? Well, I guess we'll find out. I have no idea. Well, none of us do. I guess we're going to find out. Obama? Oh, fuck. Oh, Biden? Oh, fuck. Democrats, Republicans? Oh, fuck. Just one word. Fukushima. How can they cover up four full blunt and the great Pacific genocide, this ecological radical collapse that's like this? And I'm a butcher, what's cow? I'm a baker, what's cake? I'm a fisherman, what's a boat? So, you know, new crimes, I mean, and they all go, who did, well, that great quote I was looking again by Orwell. If you're in the minority, even if you're in a minority of one against the entire whole world and you're standing up for the truth, you're not mad. No, you're the one. That's us. It's played out. We were right the whole time, our small, teeny group. And... History is going to record it that way, you know, and that's all we can look back. They're going to look back at this fucking generation and this fucking group of fucking Americans, 
you, you know, you know, and people are going to be they're, they're going to be viewed as the most evil, sickening, disgusting, especially the scientists, especially the marine biology professors, especially. I mean, sit back and watch the fucking Pacific Ocean just fucking radically and ignoring full blown out fucking meltdowns of Fukushima. They're going to look back at this fucking, you know, years and years and years and years from now and say, but at least they're going to look back on us, our small group and army and say, wow, look at those guys. It's like in Germany, in Vienna, in Austria, that really great picture when Augusta Landmeiser standing like this, when they're all saluting that dirtbag Hitler. One guy, one guy. You go to Austria right now. Every single buddy you talk to, oh, that's my uncle. That's my grandpa. He's considered, and it was, he was one. You know, Freedom Eisenblatt, she fought back. You know, God bless her. You know, so... It's always the small, teeny group. It wasn't gold in my ear who said that. The big masses and the groups and, you know, the funny, the circle, they never do anything. Small, teeny group of concerned citizens and concerned people that change the world. That's who we are. So don't fucking get all frustrated. It's a long fight, man. You know, we are, we are. We just keep doing what we do. The truth is on our side. These fuckers and their pork and their Federal Reserve fucking grass fucking notes. Fuck them. You know, they'll have something that we have. None of them will ever have. The only thing that we do have. That's all I ever want. We have our peace of mind. I see my Marianne walking away. We have that. And that's a lot. I'm, I'm telling you. That's a lot. It is a lot. So hang in there, man. The invasive species <laughs> are fucking taking over, you know, the great Pacific genocide. Thank you, everybody, for support of this historic work. You know, we'll, I'll get by. We'll make it. We'll make it. You know, we'll make it. You know, when a doctor looks you right in the eyes, a good doctor, which they did in 2011, let's get your affairs in order. you got less than two months to live in the prime of my life. In a bone marrow transplant, going in and out of a coma. You, I mean, I've been there. I've been through the, I've walked through the valley of the shadow of the death, death literally. If you only knew this journey, 13 years, has been so hardcore, radical and ugly. You know, it doesn't take a lot to make me happy. It's the little things I'm happy. Don't sweat the fucking stupid stuff. Hang in there, man. You know, I'm happy. I really am happy. You know, like I tell my doctor every time I see him. You know, I get frustrated once in a while, so what? I'm alive and kicking. You know, and I'm very, 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 very grateful to be alive. You know, and do what I do. I'm very grateful. So thank you to everybody who supported the historic work. <laughs> the truth has to be told. Stay in tune.